Wake up, everybody. It's time to get squared away with Navy SEAL Radio. I'm your host, David Rutherford. As a behavioral training expert, top motivational speaker, author, and performance coach, it's my mission in life to help you defeat the negative insurgency in your life. So get fired up to use Frog Logic, the Navy SEAL training program, to help you succeed in any environment imaginable. Hoo-yah! All right! Hope you hear me loud and clear because I am coming back at you. I've been off the air for a little bit, but I'm more fired up than ever before, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, chimpanzees and dogs. I am getting ready to explode inside with this week's show on Navy SEAL Radio. Man, I got to tell you, I've been on the road nonstop. I've been out there spreading the frog logic message. I've been out there teaching people about all these different things and how to how to make them better human beings, how to like that fire in their gut, how to get them out of bed every morning and, and, and strive forward to achieve things that they never imagined were possible. That's what I've been doing. So I apologize. I've been off the air for a little bit, but I'm back now. I'm back today, and I am raring to go. Man, I can't even tell you. I'm, I'm busting out at the seams. My office here at, uh, in my, my, my studio here at Team Frog Logic offices, man, it's about ready to bust out. I got to tell you, uh, you know, when you think about coming back on the air after you've been out for a while, most people would probably be like, well, I hope everybody still remembers me. Or I hope I still have what it takes. Or I hope this is whatever. But I don't think about that. You know what I think about? I think about you. I think about how important you are to me. I think about how much you mean to me. I think about how much that I have the stuff that I've had, the incredible opportunity, the incredible blessings in this world that I've seen, the people that have influenced me, the the, the people that have taught me to be who I am. Uh, just this past week, man, I had an opportunity to spend time with a former Green Beret from Vietnam who was in the Mac V SOG program, who's on the board of, of the Lone Survivor Foundation. And, and we had been missing each other here and there, but I had an opportunity to spend like two hours with this gentleman. I mean, really amazing human being, Mr. Novax. And I tell you what, the influence, the impact made me better. It made me want to earn my trident for him even more today. It made me want to think about it and, and give him a shout out and give a shout out to all the people that have come before me. All the people out there that have, have, have laid down the path for me to follow. Who have laid down, who have given me the, the life lessons that I need in order to become who I am today. Because guess what? It's because of you that I am in this chair, that I am on this microphone right now, that I am able to, to get out there and make an impact on those of you that are out there listening right now and those of you who haven't even heard of me yet and those of you who haven't even started thinking about how frog logic is going to change your life because that's what I'm here to do today. And, and man, I, I hope everybody, if, if you're listening for the first time, welcome to the team. Welcome to our family. Welcome to our, our group of, of close-knit people that support one another no matter what. That's what we do. That's what our Frog Logic team or our team Frog Logic is all about. Now, if you're wondering, hey, if you're wondering what Frog Logic is, Frog Logic is a Navy SEAL motivational training program that I designed, right, with the help of some other amazing human beings that I designed and that, that is based on my 20 years, or actually it's like 25 years now. Someone just pointed that out to me. One of my old college roommates pointed that out to me the other day. 25 years of me exploring the human condition, desperately trying to discover what enables us to succeed in every environment imaginable. That's everything. That's in, in, in the, you know, overseas in Afghanistan, that's in the hospitals, in the ERs, that's, that's in my regular life as a father and, and a husband, that's as a friend that's going through SEAL training, that's doing missionary work, that's supporting men, 
mentoring young people and coaching, you know, private coaching others. That's, that's everything that I do in my life, man. That's everything. That's this entire experience. This is 25 years of me exploring the human condition. And I'll tell you what else. Here's the kicker to Frog Logic. I not only combine my experience, I combine it with 70 plus years of UDT Navy SEAL operations, training, and elite performance in order to create this program for you. Because I've 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 pulled out all the all the all the positive stuff in our in our mindset, and I've pulled out all the positive experiences, and I've pulled out all, out all the amazing stories that my friends have downrange, and I've I've created this this idea, this philosophy for you to uh, uh, take on board in your life, in order for you to begin discovering how you keep that fire in your gut lit. Now here's the deal, man. This program, this Navy SEAL training program, is designed to help you defeat the negative insurgency in your life. And I've done an entire show, so go back and check out. I did an entire show on what the negative insurgency is, how it affects us, how it destroys us. All right? This this is what my program, this is what using frog logic in your life will do. It will help you defeat the negative insurgency when you're entrenched in the combat of life, when you're getting hammered by the combat of life, when you're getting pummeled and you don't think that you can rise up. If you just start using a little frog logic, you will. You'll gain that little ounce of motivation. You'll gain that little ounce of inspiration. You'll start to want to give that little bit of perspiration. You'll start to want to work harder. You'll start to want to share more. You'll start to want to serve the greater good at a higher capacity. And then guess what? You're right back in that fight. Now, I'll tell you what. This is a powerful thing. And there, just if you want to know, here's a little bit more. Here's a little bit more insight. In all of my my experience, as well as researching this stuff from a behavioral, a cognitive, a neuropsychology perspective over the last, geez, really started digging into this about 2001 when I was an instructor at SQT or SEAL qualification training, because it just, it, it blew my mind what we were capable of. I'd, I'd never been able to internalize it in a way because it was always just me that was having to roger up and do this. And I'll talk a little bit more about this later. But, I, you know, I was able to watch these young frogmen develop into these amazing human beings. And that just, that just captured my passion. It gave me something new to focus on, something that really I, I, it's just been fascinating to me. And it's what my calling is now, right, to, to really understand this, how we function as, as a human being, why we function, why we choose to do things, why, we're, why certain people are other, uh, able to do things and others aren't. You know, the science, <laughs> the philosophy, the religion, all of it is relevant. And that's what I do. That's what frog logic is. It's, it's, it's a starting point. It's a mechanism to get you started in order to, one, frog logic concepts, one, forge your self-confidence day in and day out because self-confidence is everything. And it takes a, it takes a beating every single day in your relationships at work and your failures, all this stuff. Your self-confidence is constantly being challenged. Now... That's what we do for help you forge your self cons. The other is we teach you how to live a team life. I mean, that is a, a total commitment because nobody does it alone. If you think you're going to do it alone, eh, pfft, you're wrong. There's no way on this planet in this life that you can do achieve great success by yourself. It's impossible. It's an impossibility. You need a team and therefore you have to commit to living the team life. So I got four missions there to help you. There's eight missions for forging self-confidence. There are four missions for living the team life. And the next one is you have to learn to embrace your fear because guess what? All that nonsense out there about uh, being able to defeat fear, it's BS. It doesn't exist. You can't do it. One, because you're wired for fear, right? You got this thing in your brain called the amygdala. Two, you've been taught fear your whole life. So guess what? The faster you start to learn to embrace your fear and utilize it as a tool, a positive tool, in order for you to move forward because fear is the number one inhibitor in your life. If you've got 
big fear, little fear, whatever it is, it stops you. It slows your momentum. It distracts you. It contorts you. It stops your ability to succeed. All right? And the last one is, and there's five missions to embrace your fear. And the last one is you've got to live with purpose. Because purpose is the essence of momentum. Purpose is the essence of meaning in your life. Purpose is the faith that gets you out of bed every day. The intangible thing that you try and wrap your mind around on a regular basis. It's purpose. And without purpose, you've got no drive. You've got no desire. You've got no passion. You've got no dreams. That's what purpose is. And that's what frog logic is all about, is to help you understand these four things. Now, it's our mission here at at Team Frog Logic to provide you with the very best motivational media that matters. That's right. We're basically, if you want to knock it down, we're a motivational entertainment company. We got six divisions and we focus solely on providing you with the very best motivational media matters. Now, the the grand majority of information that we provide you, we do it for free. We just want to give it. I've got to do this. I'm called to do this in my life. I cannot do anything else, man. I've tried. I've tried six other professions outside after getting out the Navy, and it doesn't, it doesn't work for me. This is what I have to do. This is what I love to do, is I want to help you. I want to help you discover the power of frog logic, the power of motivation, the power of inspiration and passion and purpose, right? That's what Team Frog Logic, that's what we focus on. And we do this through a bunch of different ways, right? On our, on our website at teamfroglogic.com. And we're, we're getting real close to finishing our new website. Uh, my, my creative director, Brian Call, and, and, and our web designer, are, they're working their butts off. And, and they're really pushing hard in order to get this thing done, man. And it's going to be done real soon. So you be fired up on the lookout for that. So, you know, where we'll have all our content there, what we are, who we are, what we do. We're going to start developing forums and blog forums for people to contribute motivational ideas and stories on the web website so we want to just compile as much motivation in one place as possible and we're also uh in talks with uh uh, another friend uh in designing an app a frog logic motivational app for for you to have so you have a a a perpetual string of 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 content available for you at all times next uh, youtube videos i've got a truckload of videos and i'm very happy and proud to announce that that we just crested over 2 million views. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, chimpanzees and cats and dogs. We have just crested over 2 million views on our YouTube videos. Now, I'm awfully proud of that number. I mean, we, we, uh, we, we've worked really hard at co- creating nice, positive content, and people are responding. We've got over 15,000 subscribers, and it just keeps growing every single day. We're really happy with what we're doing. And, and this summer, we're going to start working on actually the next group of our videos, or this fall, the Live With Purpose videos. Um, so stand by and be on the lookout for those, as well as a bunch of new uh, Frog Logic training videos coming out here soon, and then a bunch of new videos that will be on the website. All right, we also have a publishing company called Leadline Publishing where we publish our own books, books that I write with Brian, books that I write by myself for kids and adults. Please check out our kids line, which is Doc Frog. Uh, We've got a, a PT book out there. That'll help your children uh, start uh, embracing the, the power of getting fit and, and being motivational while, while you're learning how to do it. And then we've got an adult book about forging self-confidence. Um, in the process right now, we're getting real close to finishing our second kid's book that will release right before school. And then we've got another book uh, that I'm working on too, another, my, our next adult book, which will be uh, the Live the Team Life book that we hope to release right before Christmas time. So it's going to be a big year for Leadline Publishing. The next is is uh, speaking events, and and that's how we really get out there uh, around the country. Uh, I've done, geez, I've done. I think it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've done. 10 or 12 motivational speaking events in the last two and a half weeks, folks. It's really taken off. Uh, I'm on course to hopefully do about 70 speaking events this year. So if you and your company or your team or your school or your organization or whatever it is are looking for somebody that has a lot of energy, that gets fired up, that is, has got a very, you know, very succinct, clear message on how to how to uh, rise to the occasion, how to fight the, fight the negative insurgency and succeed in the combat 
out of life, man, give us a shout at teamfroglogic.com forward slash contact. Reach out to us, and, and I'd love to come and work with you and your, your teams. Um, we also give seminars, and we're, we're in the process of, of really starting to flush out a, a public speaking tour uh, that'll start down here in South Florida, and maybe we'll do a couple other dates around the country, uh, and we're going to launch that the first of next year. So we're really excited about this, and we're going to bring in some outside speakers to help me out, some really amazing other special operations guys that are just uh, at the peak of their game. So stand by and look out for that. We've got private coaching. So if you're struggling out there and you want some private coaching, give us a shout out uh, too on the contact page. Uh, and we'll look at what, how that helps. And then social media, right? I'm on all the social media out there. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Plus, Tumblr, uh, Pinterest, uh, all over the place. So, you know, please. And I provide a daily dose of motivation every single day on all these. Uh, we also provide some really killer artwork from Brian on our team frog logic page on Facebook. Uh, we provide, uh, some running commentary. We, we, we have a lot of great motivational partners and teammates out there to, to help us in this thing. So please also this show, Navy SEAL Radio, this is our 74th uh, show, and, I'll, and I'm really proud and happy to announce uh, we crested over 900,000 downloads uh, two weeks ago, and we're just, we're, we're, we're really picking up steam. So if you want to download all these shows and find out more places about where they are, you can visit us. Uh, we're going to have all the shows loaded at tfroglogic.com, the new website. And then we're also, you can find them at blogtalkradio.com forward slash Navy SEAL Radio. And then you can also find them on iTunes. If you want to download all these shows, they're all on iTunes. I highly recommend it. Uh, just a truckload of free motivational content where I talk about all the main four frog logic concepts. I talk about other things like perseverance. I've done shows on PTSD. I've shown uh, shows on the negative insurgency. Just a lot of great content for free for you in order to help you defeat the negative insurgency in your life. And also, I'm really happy to announce we're going to start a new podcast uh, next week that's going to happen during the week. Um, uh, we're still moving forward to try and figure out, make sure that it'll work from a live uh, perspective. Uh, but the first one we're going to do next week, and, and it's going to be called the Frog Logic Podcast. And then with this, we're going to just really focus on tremendous interviews with people, uh, really get it going, uh, uh, and, and discover how people are employing these concepts in their life. It's really going to be an amazing podcast, and we're going to be able to go mobile with this thing all over the country. So uh, I might be in your area giving a speech and I'm going to have somebody on that really is exceptional. It's going to be remarkable. You're going to love it. The Frog Logic Podcast. Um, so the one thing that you could do for us uh, in order to help us continue going and continue spreading the Frog Logic message, share the word, all right? Pass the word and, and tell your friends about what it is I do, what it is we do, why we do it. And, 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 and if you know somebody that's struggling, just point them towards our direction. Because that's what we're here for. We're here to help people. We're here to be positive in, a, in an incredibly negative world right now, as we're seeing all over the world, and especially in our country up in the Northeast. Uh, and it's really a shame to see uh, Baltimore. One of my best friends uh, from college is, uh, grew up in Baltimore, and, and I'm sure he's upset by it, and I know I'm upset. And, and hopefully we can come to a res resolution here soon and that people will stop destroying their, their, their areas and, and other people. People will, you know, the truth will come out and hopefully this young man who uh, died needlessly and that the truth will come out about that and what happened. And, and, and you know, we can all move forward with this because the overwhelming uh, numbers out there prove that most often police officers are doing a bang up job out there. Uh, we're, we're, we're all very lucky to have the police in our lives. I mean, if you think about it, the world would be, com our, our country would be complete chaos. These people roger up in a very thankless job out there. Um, and so I, I recognize that, uh, you know, we need to support these people. We also need to support uh, some op in, in, in help figuring out how to, how to turn around these inner cities, right? 
on how to how to create more opportunities in a positive, meaningful way uh, by the the local businesses and the, and the bigger corporations out there to say, hey, all right, we're going to provide these jobs, we're going to do this, but here's the criteria, here's the standard, and here basically is is how if you want this job, this is how you have to be accountable. And if you're accountable at this level and you can meet this standard, you got it. Here's a job. Because accountability is massive. I mean, when you think about accountability in your life, think about what role it plays. Think about how the impact it has and on how you operate every single day. Think about how accountability is, is, is kind of the guideline for your gauge on success. If you're accountable, you succeed. If you're not accountable, you don't. And you don't just not succeed in your professional life. You, su- you don't succeed in every aspect of your life. Because it's how other people gauge you, right? Your accountability. Is Rutt accountable? Can I count on him? Can I trust him? Because that's what it all comes down to. And that's what today's show is all about. Today's show title, Your Accountable Life. Now, that's a big town because it's not my, uh, your, your life as it's accountable, you know, as I think it or whatever, but it's your accountable life, right? It's up to you to discover how to be accountable. It's up to you to rise to the occasion. It's up to you to make sure that you live an accountable life. Now, we'll start out here. We'll first define accountability as I always do. We got to get everybody on the same sheet of music. Because if we all come at it from a, a, a bunch of different ways, then we all, we, we, it makes things challenging. We got to come down to one, a consensus. So we'll define accountability. Then I'm going to go into why being accountable is so essential for your success. Then I'm going to go into why, what happens if you're not accountable, which is a huge deal and happens every day, all day. We see it all the time. And then I'm going to go where I learned to be accountable. I'm going to talk a little bit about BUDS and uh, Special Operations Combat Medic Training. I'm going to talk about my platoons as a contractor a little bit. And then now as a father and, and a husband and a, and a business owner. And then, and then I'm going to share with you the four frog logic concepts for this show to help you become more accountable. All right. So is everybody fired up out there? I hear, hoo rut, hoo Give me a big hoo One, two, three, hoo <laughs> I love it. I hope all those of you that said it, man, I'm, I'm super fired up. All right. So let's define accountability. Now, I pulled this off my favorite starting source of, of information, Wikipedia. If you don't like it, then go find something else. But this is where we're starting. Okay. On Navy SEAL Radio, this is where we're going to start. Here it is right now. Accountability. In ethics and governance... Accountability is answerability, blameworthiness, liability, and the expectation of account giving. As an aspect of government, it has been central to discussions related to problems in the public sector, nonprofit, and private corporate worlds. In leadership roles, uh, for in leadership roles, accountability is the acknowledgement and assumption of responsibility for actions, products, decisions, and policies, including the administration, governance, and implementation within the scope or role or employment position and encompassing the obligation to report, explain, be answerable for resulting consequences. That That's a big one right there, right? Basically, it's saying, hey, man, if, if you have uh, a family, if you go outside in the world, if you uh, walk amongst other human beings, if you own a company, if you work for the government or whatever it is, you have a responsibility to answer for your actions. You have a responsibility to take blame for your actions. You have a responsibility to say, hey, whatever I do, I'm liable for whatever I say. And that's everywhere, folks. That's in every aspect of our lives. Now, you cannot deny that. If you do deny that, then you ought to just turn off this show. Or no, wait, better yet, man, you ought to turn it off. <laughs> because accountability really is, is, it means so much to how we function as a society. I mean, think about it. Think about if there was zero accountability. Now, I know a, a lot of you out there are saying right now, you're like, right. There is no accountability anymore. The world's going to hell. <laughs> well, in certain places, you're right. You're, cert- you're, you're absolutely right. But that doesn't mean that you give up your accountability. That doesn't mean that you stop adhering to the, the core moral obligations we have in, in the human species, does it? 
I mean, you, just because they're doing it, that means I should do it. Just because they're cheating the system, I should cheat the system. Just because those politicians aren't doing this, or just because those 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 uh, looters are doing this, that means I can do it. I mean, think about that. That's really just a, a, a horrible thing to live up to in this world, isn't it? It's really just it's powerful and, and horrible. Now, here, here's another thing. Let's, let's get into this as we move forward. Let's just ask yourself, why is being accountable so essential for the success in your life, all right? Let me tell you why. Here you go. Accountability, first off, is the essence of your reputation. Now, a lot of people out there are like, huh, well, all right, all right explain this to me, Rudd. I, I'm trying to understand this. Well, think about it. Your reputation is everything. What people think of you, how people judge you, how people act, how people, uh, uh, what they believe in you, all these things, right? So that is a, a, is, as a result of, of the fact of whether or not you can be accountable, whether or not when you tell people whatever, you know, something or this, that, the other, that you follow through, that, that they know that you're going to be there, right? And it's also, it's, it's the establishment uh, to your, it's the establishment uh, with your teammates a feeling of trustworthiness. Now, trust is, is pretty much what we're getting down to, right? Account, being accountable means you're trusted. And that you, 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 you look around and the people you interact, your teammates, your swim buddies, your family members, your friends, if they can trust you and every, and it's all about relationships, right? It's relationships and how you cultivate those relationships, what you, the, the pride you take in them, your willingness to, to serve those relationships in a meaningful way is all about being accountable. And the fact that when you do something or you say something or you commit to something that your teammates, your swim buddies, they can trust that. Now, everybody out there listening right now has, has, has fallen short at some time or another in that accountability, haven't you? I know I have I, 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 many times. Many times because of, of certain uh, distractions I allowed to come in and, and take over as a result of my fears, all right? And this, this lack of accountability affected me and, and the people that, 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 uh, that supposedly trust me on many, many, many occasions. I'm not proud of it, but it's the truth. And I'm not going to deny the truth to you all listening right now because if I were to do that and I were not to share my, the truth of my failures with you, then what kind of trustworthiness are we going to build? How are you ever going to listen to Navy SEAL radio? How are you ever going to read one of my books? How are you ever going to follow me on social media and say, man, Rut, man, you had me until all of a sudden I found out that you were uh, not always, you know, the on the up and up, that you were not always 100%. And I'm not going to lie about it, folks. You're right. I've struggled, and I've struggled hard. Now, thankfully, in my life, I've had some amazing things that have come into my heart that have enabled me to maintain an accountability and to, to build on it, to grow with it. Because it's not just this, this strict, concrete thing that if you, if you, if it, that, that's just solidified in one particular thing. No, accountability grows. It grows with the amount of respons responsibility you accept. It grows with the amount of uh, commitment you give. Right? It's huge. Accountability grows with the intensity of your self-confidence. All right? And that's all relative to how people trust you. And whether or not really, you know, think about that, the power of being trusted. Now, the question I always like to ask now is what happens if you're not accountable? Seriously. Have you asked that? Have you asked that to yourself? Did you? Hopefully you'll ask yourself that today. Uh, what happens when you're not accountable? What happens when uh, you don't care, when you, when you just blow deadlines or dates off or commitment to work or contracts or your ethics or your morality? What happens when you blow all that stuff off and you just, you know, you say, screw it, I don't care. I don't have to be accountable to anybody but myself. Well, I'll tell you what that means. That means you're not trustworthy. That means you can't even trust yourself with adhering to the basic fundamentals of the human condition. And that's what keeps order. That's what keeps us moving forward. That's what maintains a certain level of positivity in our lives. And if you're not willing to adhere to that, then nobody's going to trust you, period.
Nobody. I mean, maybe other people that you like that that roll with you like that, that that blow off certain accountability aspects that just, you know, that don't care. They're like, yeah, man, we're in this together. And and you're and I say to I say to those two chuckleheads or whoever it is, I say, well, how are you two gonna trust each other? If you don't have any adherence to any kind of guideline or commitment level or trust or whatever, how the heck are you each gonna trust each other? You can't. Period. Now, when there's doubt in who you are and what you can do, there's never going to be respect. Because without trust, there's no respect. And now we live in a society nowadays, man, where it's all about respect. That's all I'm seeing on TV right now. That's all I see. I watch it every day. I watch the news the last couple weeks, man, and it's all about respect. All right, nobody respects us, or 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 we are not respected, and they don't respect us, so we got to give a heavy hand, or all this nonsense, man. Well, guess what? You got to earn respect, and you know how you earn respect by being trustworthy, by being accountable, by being accountable to the things that that people out there that that they they know that when they see you in particular, you the individual. They see you, and they see you coming, and they see they're like in their mind, sweet, Rutt's here. I know I can trust what he says. I know he's accountable to me. I know that, you know, th- this is an amazing opportunity right now to be, be in and around Rutt because he's going to elevate my game. He's going to uh, sharpen my iron. I mean, I have this all the time. I'm accountable to a, a bunch of people that I truly care about deeply. And I give them phone calls or I see them in person, man. And, and I have them check my accountability. I check my trustworthiness. I check whether or not they respect me. Because I have open dialogue and communication with these people in order to, to make sure. I don't just deny the fact that there might be some other things going on. Oh, man, I, I, you know, I know I wasn't accountable last week. I know I, I came up short. I know I wasn't real trustworthy. But guess what? No big deal. It's all good to go. I can just blow this off, and they'll, they'll still respect me. No, that's not how it works. That is completely not how it works, okay? You have to roger up, and you have to be accountable. When you're accountable, people will trust you. When they can trust you, they'll respect you. And if that's not there, none of those things are there, then guess what's going to start happening to you? Fear. Your fear will increase. Your doubt will increase. Your fear of whether or not, you know, oh my God, nobody, you know, what's going on? How come they are judging me? How come they don't, they don't respect me? How come they don't trust me? How come? And that fear builds and it builds. And you know what that happens when that fear starts building and starts taking over your, you know, your prefrontal cortex or even your limbic system or whatever it is, your heart, your mind, your soul. Once fear starts to overwhelm that, guess what happens? Boom. Your self-confidence corrodes. And it starts to deteriorate. And without that self-confidence, fear increases. With no self-confidence, you never can be a part of a team. Without being a part of a team, you'll never discover what your purpose is. See how it's all tied together? So that's what happens in your life. I'm telling you right now. That's what happens in your life when you're not accountable. That's a horrible thing to be. Now... All right, let's let's take a, a second and let's switch gears a little bit. Let me share with you how I learned how to be accountable, right? Because I'll tell you what, in college, when I went down south and I and, and man, I jumped into that abyss of of fear and had fear overwhelm me and take over my account, my self confidence, and you know, I got kicked off the lacrosse team. I was almost kicked out of school. My friends didn't want to hang out with me because all I was doing was living life in a chaotic manner, manner and drinking, and, and 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 it was just devastating. And I was I was not accountable whatsoever to myself, to my friends, to my family, to what I was supposed to be doing, to my team. Zero accountability. And what happened? I tell you what happened, man. I lived in a, a depressed life. And that depression was overwhelming at times. It had suicidal thoughts on many occasions. And that's the truth of what happens when you lose all these things, when fear begins to consume you. There's no way around it. I mean, you think you have what it takes to be able to combat that or, 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 or stay true or clear of that, but I'm telling you from experience... That's not the way it works, period. 
So what do you do? Where did I learn it? Now, thank God, literally, thank God for my first uh, moment where God came into my life, my first epiphany, and he said, boom, rut, guess what? You need to change your life right now. (laughs) <laughs> and that's what I did, man. I dropped out of school. I enlisted in the Navy to pursue my new dream of becoming a Navy SEAL. And man, I'll tell you what, that first second I walked into first phase or, or PTRR, back, I had that accountability smack upside my head. Uh, that first that first uh, soft sand run at Coronado, holy cow. And I got, you know, I got my first injury and then came back and built and worked hard, come back again. But guess what? I wasn't accountable because I overused my legs. And so when I started first phase with 206, I got injured again. Boom. Lack lack of accountability for not taking care of myself. And then luckily, because of uh, uh, Chief Warrant Officer Rewards, man, I was able to get a double roll into, into 208. And I started there. And my accountability, man, that was awesome. Because in first phase, where where I truly learned the essence of accountability, because if you're not prepared, if you're uh, if you're if your uh, uniform isn't perfect and on in time with everybody else, then you're going to make the team pay. If you don't push the boat over your head when you're in a, your boat crew, then guess what? You're going to mo- make your boat crew pay. And, and I had some unbelievable pipe hitters in my boat crew in, in first phase in 208. Man, these people, these men shaped my life. They gave me the, how to become accountable. They put their trust in me, in them, for them. And for those gents, I am eternally grateful. And every single day, every single day up to and then in Hell Week, man, without your buddies and without your commitment to them, guess what? If you weren't accountable to your buddies, they weren't going to make it. And that's where it started to change in my life. That's where it really started to, I started to open up to the power of accountability, to the meaning, the, the magnitude of this thing and how huge and how essential it is in order for us to succeed. And just the, the power of that fact when that person is struggling and, and they can't lift the boat over their head or the, 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 you know, they're, they're, they're falling asleep eating chow at mid-rats or they were going around the world and they're hallucinating, they can't see straight. It's up to us to get them back in the, in the game, in the, in the combat of life. It's up to us. Because down the road, when it really mattered, when the combat comes, that's where we're accountable. When we go down range, that's where it really gets hard, too. Now, thankfully, you know, you, you progress in second phase. Now, all of a sudden, you get this dive buddy who literally his life is in your hands in dive phase. And every single night... For a long time, like a whole month, you're doing these dives in San Diego Bay, and, and their life is in your hand, and it's your accountable. If you're if you're driving, right, they're going to save you. If you're flying, but either way, because you're diving on on closed circuit, your your lives are in each other's hands. That's huge. That's the first time that happened to me. That is the first time. I mean, in, in first phase, you feel it, but you know, going underwater on bag is a whole nother level. It's amazing. And so that swim buddy, and I'll never forget my swim buddy in second phase and in 208, amazing. Then I got rolled back, got a new swim buddy, even more amazing. And, and, and you know what? It, it, is, it, it happened, man. And you become accountable to those people. And then third phase, you become accountable to your, your squad and to your team. And next thing you know, you're graduating buzz and you're, holy cow, man, I made it through this thing. And it was all because of my quest to earn the trust of my teammates Earn the trust of the men ultimately down the line that I would be going overseas with to earn their trust, to earn the trust of my instructors who a bunch of, bunch of them I ended up doing a platoon with. I mean, that's remarkable stuff right there and how it's all interconnected. And, and that, that trustworthiness, that accountability, man, that enhances your, your ability to embrace your fear. You fast forward, I moved into SOCOM or Special Operations uh, Medic Training out of 18 Delta, and, and it was amazing. I got to uh, uh, explore this accountability with Green Berets and Rangers and Air Force guys and, and Marines, and it was phenomenal because we were all cut from the same cloth of accountability. I mean, that's a powerful, powerful thing. Really amazing to recognize that, hey, it, you know, accountability isn't a sole attribute of the SEAL teams. 
accountability is all about the military and about special operations. That's what makes us so unique. That's what elevates our performance is the commitment to that accountability, that trustworthiness, that when bullets start flying, each one of us can be accountable. And that's a powerful thing, man. It's a heavy thing, I'll tell you that. Very heavy. So, you know, it's it, pretty amazing. That, now, the next place where it really hit home is in the platoons. When I did my first platoon, hotel platoon at SEAL Team 1, man, and I had all these other men around me, these, these 15 other people that depended upon me on a regular basis. Now, granted, I was a new guy and, and trying to adhere to this amazing SEAL culture and all this stuff. So, there, you know, I got a little arrogant at times and, and, and was not accountable. And made my platoon mates suffer as a result, being late to musters or, or not having all my kit ready at certain times. And, and guess what? I paid the man for it, rightfully so. Because we have great uh, systems in place where if you're not going to be accountable, you're going to get an opportunity to answer for that lack of trustworthiness, to answer for it. And I did on multiple occasions. And thank goodness that my platoon was able there to do that for me because a lot of that has been eradicated from our lives hasn't it especially when you're out there on your own you know there's no really repercussion of a lack of accountability who's holding your feet to the fire now what happens ultimately because that that doesn't exist out in the real world as much as it should we we those boundaries of accountability seem to fade and there are no clear-cut dis- differentiation between, hey, that you're not being trustworthy, you're not being accountable versus, yep, absolutely, he's squared away. He's meeting the standard. He's meeting, he's setting the rules, and he's, he's, even, he's even going beyond the rules to even be more trustworthy. And I'm going to share with you how to do that here in a little bit. And we discover that in platoons. And I'll tell you what, over the last 15 years, the special operations world, has risen to a whole nother level because of two wars. And our community in particular, as well as all the other special ops, all the other units, and all the other groups and agencies down there who've lost people as a result of our being accountable to what? Freedom. Democracy. The Declaration of Independence. The Constitution. Now, I did a, a speech, a motivational event uh, two weeks ago at, at Constitution Center in Philadelphia. And as I'm looking out and I'm giving my speech and I look down through these big plate class windows, I, I'm literally staring at Constitution Hall, literally staring at this building down uh, maybe two blocks down from me. And I see this and I think to myself, my God, that's where my forefathers created America. That's where they gave us this amazing concept of, of what America is in the Declaration of Independence. We the people. Just in that sentence, we the people, we are, we're accountable to each other. We're accountable to perpetuate this great experiment called democracy. Do you feel that right now? Because I'll tell you what, I certainly do. And I certainly did, carrying a gun for 15 years of my life in a multitude of different ways, and I, and I absolutely feel accountable to it now. I found accountable as a contractor working for BW and the government, to my other teammates, to the people I protected, to the people I trained, to support America, to continue to make America great, right? To make our, our culture what it is, to make, to support it. Man, that's what it takes. It takes types of sacrifice and, and focus and commitment, man, to be accountable, be trustworthy to something that's bigger than yourself. If you can start there, if you understand that and you believe in that and you have faith in that, that guess what? My accountability is not about me so much as it is about them, about we, the people, about America, about my teammates, about my friends, my family, my, the people I work with. When you can put that in your own head and live with that every single day, man, that's using some frog logic. That's what I do every day in this business, in my business at Team Frog Logic. That's what we do. That's what we focus on. We're accountable to you to continually, to perpetually provide you with some motivational media that matters in your life, that will make a difference if you open your heart and open your mind and open your soul to what I'm saying. 
And what I'm saying to you is, this is your accountable life. It's time to be trustworthy. All right. So let's move into the next, the next phase here. Let's talk about the four frog logic concepts to help you begin to become accountable, right? These are the concepts that I created for this show in particular to help you understand these are some basic guidelines. And if you can work on these, these three, these four things, you're on your way. Trust me. I know it. You're, you're 100% on your way. All right, here you go. Step number one, the first frog logic concept to begin becoming accountable. Ready? Step number one. It's not your time, it's your team's. <laughs> now, what do I mean by that? The first and foremost, th this is an easy way to get started in your life, right? And this is something that we use in, in the SEAL community all the time. Here it is, you ready? If you're not five minutes early, you're late, period. Now, what does that mean? That means that you're willing to sacrifice a higher degree of, of your own time for, for your teammates, right? To recognize that, uh, that it's not yours doesn't really matter as much as the team's matter. So being early and punctual and on time with whatever you say, whatever you do, like, all right, I, I totally admit that, uh, here you go, I, I, I agree to getting this done on this date and this time, and then all of a sudden it's gone, you blow it away. Man, that's not accountable, all right? If you are late to showing up, man, you're wasting their time, especially your teammates, the people you work with, right? All right? Here's something if you recognize this. You're done, like you're done to finish, to go back to your own life, whatever that means, your comfort zones or whatever you need to, to feel efficient, to feel good about yourself. All that. You're done when the mission's done, period. You're done when the mission is done. We've got a thing in the SEAL teams. When you come back from a mission or a training mission or whatever, you take care of the, the team's gear first. You take care of the, uh, or actually the mission gear or, or the team gear, the platoon gear, all right, your gear. And then finally, when it's all said and done and everything's good to go, you can take care of yourself, take a shower, uh, have some food, whatever. But I'll tell you what, that you're the last thing that happens. So when you realize that, when you roger up and you accept the mission, whether it's a job, uh, whether it's uh, to be there for someone or to commit to something, man, that's your mission. And you're not done until you're done. So when you catch yourself going, oh, man, I, I really got to go. I'm sorry. Thanks. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'll be here tomorrow, whatever. You're, you're giving up on a mission. When you're not five minutes early, you're late, and that means you're sacrificing other people for the mission because they're waiting on you, and that's not being accountable. All right, now step number two. Here you go. Ready? Step two is you got to look for work, right? All right, you got to look for work. This is a huge thing in our world. You got to look for work. If you're sitting around, uh, let me tell you what, idle time uh, is distorts your purpose, period. If you're sitting around and you're just twiddling your thumbs or playing some ridiculous game or whatever, man, I, that's, that's unsat because you could be doing something to benefit the mission, to benefit your team, all right? There's always, there is always something for you to do. I'm telling you, always, always something for you to do. All right, so look for work, get out there, step out of your comfort zone, go and help somebody, especially if you got someone on the team who is struggling to get something done. Don't just look at them and go, oh man, that sucks for you. You walk over and you say, how can I help? What can I do to get this done faster? What can I do to help you? And when if you finish early, then you guess what? You go help someone else. And the next time when they finish early and they see you're struggling, they're going to help you, man, because they're accountable to you. You're accountable to them. You show it, you demonstrate it. Look for work. It's a huge one. And if you stop and set yourself, just do this. Just stop and you're, you're sitting there surfing the net or whatever. Just stop and go, am I working right now? I need to look for work. And that'll switch your mind frame and get out there. All right, step three, here you go. Step three, your word is your bond, period. Your word is your bond. And when you think about it, where does the real trust in our lives come from? Where does those real, distinguishable, real things about trust, where does it come from? It comes from what comes out of your mouth and your actions. And so when you commit to somebody or commit to, or you say something, you know, people have to say, all right, well, that's what they must feel or think or say. Now, 
uh, many times we get frustrated in life. We get angry and we say things we don't mean. But guess what? That hurts people. I know. I've done it multiple times. I, I have myself a little bit of an anger issue out there that I've been working on for years. Because I, 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 I think everything should operate like the SEAL teams. And that's just not the way it is. And in this world, I've got to learn to conform to the environment that I'm in. And that's what they taught me how to do. But there's a natural resistance. So I get angry. I get frustrated. But that's not good because your word is your bond, right? And when you throw something out there, you can't just throw it out there and be like, oh, well, no big deal. Man, you're responsible for that. That's where the trust comes from. So when you say something, you better mean it. When you say you're going to do something, you better do it. All right? Your word is your bond. And the last one, here you go. Step four, the last one. Here we go. Ready? Ready? You got to love your teammates more than you love yourself. Let me repeat that. You have to love your teammates more than you love yourself. That's right. All right? Now, how does that work? Because you got to start first start allowing yourself to feel more, to, to get involved more, to feel more about how you feel and all that sort of thing. Man, that's important. That's imperative. All right? And you got to serve the greater good in order to serve yourself. So you want to feel good, you want to feel trustworthy, you want to feel respect, you want to feel love, then go serve someone else. Give yourself, give your time. Give your feelings to someone in a meaningful way. Now when I talk about love, I don't mean it in a weak way, I mean it in a strong way. You look at what we do in the SEAL teams. You look what they do in special operations. You look what you do for your children. I love my two daughters more than anything on this planet, man. And I'm willing to do whatever for them because they are bigger than me. So I'm willing to sacrifice everything for them. That's what love your teammates more than yourself means. So those are the four steps, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you liked them. Step one, it's not your time, it's your team's. Step two, look for work. Step three, your word is your bond. And step four, love your teammates more than yourself. All right, we're going to, we're coming down to the wire. So I'm going to take a quick call right here. Uh, Hey, what's up there? You, uh, this is a Navy SEAL radio. You're on the air. What's going on? Hey there. Hey, what's up? Hey, you know, David, I'm just out for a run right now. I didn't want to go this morning, but I knew I had to keep myself accountable. Ha <laughs> ha! So, I also, I took the day off today to go out, and I knew, I told my girlfriend I was going, so I'm training for an ultra marathon in a month. So, the guys at work would know, my girlfriend would know, and my teammates that I'm running with would know if I didn't go today. So, I can't always keep myself accountable. You know, nobody's perfect. So, you know, we lean on our buddies and other people in our lives. Well, that, that's the coolest thing I've ever heard right there. I, I love how you frame it in the context that you're telling other people you've committed to this ultra marathon and you tell them, hey, listen, I'm going for a run. I'm sticking up to my word. And, and that permeates out, doesn't it? That when they see you act upon your word, that gives them more trust and more accountability in you, doesn't it? Oh, totally. Like, I didn't want to get out of bed this morning. You know, my girlfriend, you know, she didn't want to, She's going for a bike ride this morning. She didn't want to go, but I got up, I had a cup of coffee, and then I started, uh, you know, talking to her, and she's getting up, and she's going to go out for her ride with her friends, and yeah, man, it's, you know, holding each other accountable, so I, I think I'll, I like to think I helped motivate her a little bit this morning. Oh, I think you I absolutely did. Motivate me too. Man, you're on point. I love the fact. Listen, I, I got. I'm gonna uh, hop off. I got to get to some internet questions, but I just want to thank you for being accountable to not only the people you love, but the people yourself, but also to all of us, man. That your teammates. I, I, that fires me up. I'm gonna make sure I go train for my marathon today too because of you. Thanks, brother. God bless you. Hey, right. Awesome. There you have it right there, man. That's the kind of call I love. So now let's go to uh, the internet. And the, the question I asked today on, on my Facebook page was, here's today's uh, Navy SEAL radio question. What is the best way to be accountable? All right, here we go. Uh, Marissa says to be honest. I love that one for sure. Here's the next one. Johnny, to live the team life. Love it. To have integrity at all times. Love that one. And law enforcement, here's the next one from Bill. Law enforcement, to remember, remember that people's lives depend on your ability to perform your best all the time. Dig it. 
Eric says honesty, integrity, communication. Then he goes laugh, laugh out loud, documentation. Trust your partner. All right, uh, here you go. Russell says, follow Jesus. And he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And the second is, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I, I adhere to that one every single day, Russell. Love that one. That's my accountability. Jim, first you got to show up. Then when you're there, you have to have mindful and bring 100%. Then measures the individual. That measures then measures the individual and the team progress by knowing a metric. I love it. My buddy Michael uh, Osterlink. Swim buddy or civilian equipment? I love swim buddy. Swim buddy law keeps me accountable all the time. I dig it. Betty says live transparently. Oh man, that's wonderful. That's a big. That's a big concept, man. Transparency in, in your life is huge. Now it's troubling. It's cha it's challenging because of fear. But I like where your head's at. All right. And Chad says find friends who are going to help you along in your journey, and don't be afraid to ask for help if you're struggling. Man, that's the wonderful one. I love that one, Chad. And he says, I know in my goal to lose 100 pounds that having friends helped me and definitely made it easier. They helped me keep me on track when my willpower slacked a little. Man, it's your teammates that get you there. I mean, it's just such a powerful thing in life to have the, that reality, to recognize, man, then, you know, when you give yourself to your, the people who care about you most and you share that love with them, man, they, they, they want to be, they'll, they'll hold you to be accountable They'll put their trust in you and they'll, they'll support you and they'll, they'll get you. Because ladies and gentlemen, that negative insurgency is always there. That negative insurgency is always coming. We're always in the combat of life. I'm telling you that right now. Life is hard. Tomorrow is going to be hard. The next day is going to be hard. But it can be a little easier if you're accountable. If you work on the trust in, in your teammates and you work on the trust in yourself, I'm telling you, it'll be a little easier. You'll be able to defeat the negative insurgency and the mission that they're coming at you today with by being accountable. So I ask all of you today, as you go out into your lives to accept your mission of today, be accountable because it's your accountable life. Just as it's my accountable life sitting in this chair teaching you how to understand frog logic and use it in your life, how to forge your self-confidence, how to live the team life, how to embrace your fear, and how to live with purpose. And I pray I've done that today, and I feel blessed to have the opportunity to do it because I love all you that are listening right now. I love those who are going to listen tomorrow or download it this week, man, because I want to be accountable to you. I want to live up because it makes me better. It makes me a better teammate. All right. Fired up. I, I, I want to give a, a, a special thanks to God because as, as that, uh, that one mug on said, you know, I mean, Russell, we, we are accountable to the Lord and I am. I feel that every day. So, uh, um, you know, thank you for that. And, and uh, I want to thank all those in the brotherhood in my life who taught me how to be accountable, all my past instructors, my, my brothers in the teams, all those that we've lost, all the families out there, all the, the children, all those that are serving right now downrange. Thank you because you make me accountable every single day for the effort that you've made and that you're making and that you will make in the future. I want to thank all my friends out there and family members. Uh, thank you for helping me be accountable. Thank you to my wife, the Admiral. Man, I love the fact she makes me accountable. It's awesome every single day. Uh, I want to thank uh, my, uh, my children because without you two girls, man, the bear and the bruiser, man, I don't know what I would do. I don't know where I would be. And I'm, bl I'm, I'm, I'm 100% blessed to have you and to be accountable for you. So thank you. Thank you so much. I love you, girls. All right. So uh, there you go. Thank you for listening. Uh, I'm your host, David Rutherford, Navy SEAL, motivational speaker, behavioral training specialist, author for kids and adults, private coach, radio show, YouTube personality, social media presence. Man, I'm out there for you. And I want to tell you what. I want to just tell you one last thing because I'm accountable to you. It's my mission to help you forge your self-confidence, live the team life, embrace your fears, and live with purpose. All right? One last thing. Don't ever forget, I'm your new swim buddy, so let's get motivated. Ow!